I will draw blood. I wanna be somebody. Uh -huh. How have we got a bath in here? Just uncomfortable. Help me! Help me! <coughs> Hi guys, if you don't know me, my name is Sun. I play with knives. Oh, sorry about that. And I destroy my bed for your entertainment. We are all pretty aware that the Nintendo Switch is indeed a portable console. So, it is quite strange that I've never really taken it away traveling with me. Truth be told, I don't get out much. At the times I have been away for a long weekend, the Nintendo Switch, my baby, has stayed at home feeling lonely, depressed, and deprived. Bad parent, bad, evil parent. But the sad fact is, I've honestly felt quite scared to take my Nintendo Switch out. I personally do not want to take my Nintendo Switch out for it to be lost, stolen, or broke. Also, one second. I do not want to have to kill somebody. If someone steals my baby, I will draw blood. I've actually just drawn some blood. Nice. <sighs> Lovely. Anyway, last weekend I went away and I decided to bring my baby. You guys are about to experience this trip with me. But before that, let's throw it back to the day before the weekend trip. Let's go. So the day before we stopped by Costa and we checked out my new charging gaming pack. And I'm telling you right here, right now, that this gaming pack charger thing was a lifesaver throughout the entire trip. As you can see, it's pretty simple to use. The charger comes in this little box, you take it out of the box, you, whoa, you pop the little hook onto the back, which enables you then to slide, slide the charger onto your Nintendo Switch. And the good thing about this charger is that you don't just have to use it for the Switch. I actually used it for my phone. I actually used it for, that's all I used it for, my phone. But I used it for my phone and my Nintendo Switch throughout the trip. Obviously the fact that most appeals to me about this charger is the fact that you don't have to have a long, long wire. It's a definite must buy. I'm just telling you, just giving you a bit of a, you know, accessory, accessory tip. If you want to pick this up, it's in my description and all that good stuff, so check it out. <coughs> Anyway guys, you are here to come with me on my journey, travelling with my Nintendo Switch. So let's throw it back to the start of the weekend when I say goodbye to the puppers. Bye Diesel, this bump. I wanna be somebody, oh, I wanna be somebody, I wanna be somebody, oh. going on a day trip finally I'm doing something with my little old life and um, I'm actually gonna play the Nintendo switch in the car if you didn't realize I'm poorly I feel like crap and I look like crap it's the fifth day of being poorly <coughs> oh also I've got some new shoes do you like them do you like them Hold on. yeah I bloody love them anyway I have decided to play um, some Stardew Valley in the car. I've got my Nintendo Switch. It's on 5%, so this is where the charger comes into play. Also, I brought a fake um, SD card on eBay and it completely ruined everything on my on my switch and everything on my camera so that sucked I got a new one that's the new one um so yeah I'm gonna play some Stardew Valley because I find it hard to play any type of serious game on my switch in the car um I've I've attempted to play my switch once ever in the car and this is my second attempt today 
I'll let you know how it goes. <coughs> my Nintendo Switch is charging with my trusty battery pack thing. And also, as I said before, it's not even heavy. It's not heavy one bit. It's really great. Also, my phone is dying, so when it's charged, I can use it to charge my phone. Anyway, the road trip starts now. Let's go. Food break. Due to car sickness, I'm no longer going to continue to play my Nintendo Switch. Um, I can't do anything. I don't know if it's because I'm poorly or what, but this is one of the reasons why I don't take this out because in the car there's no point, I'm not gonna play it. I tried, I tried to pay a bit of star gym, didn't happen, was a complete fail. Um, I'm gonna get something to eat now and then I've got some goodies to show you guys at the hotel. How cool these shoes are. Look at them. Look at them. Can I just say, seriously though, what the hell type of person in 2018 still wears one of these goddamn earpieces? That is one. <gasps> It's actually a really nice room. So we have a desk here. We have the bed. This is where the magic happens. And then we have, it's literally a really, oh, God, crap. It's a really small room, actually. But it's nice. We've got a wardrobe, a TV, and there I am. Hello. And then we have the bathroom. Somewhere to go do your business. Somewhere to shower away your business. So I said that I had something interesting to show you, which I do indeed. I don't know, if you are a Nintendo Switch, this is going to be fabulous. I got some exclusive Nintendo Switch items to show you. Um, I got this from Zenmark, it's a really, really good um, proxy website from Japan, you can order so many things from there. And once you've ordered them, you can put them in one big parcel and that's all sent to you. Therefore, you don't get your items sent to you all individually. It comes in like one big excited box. I had a great experience using the website. The only downside is, is that you probably will, depending on where you're from and the UK, um, you probably will have to pay custom fees. That is the only downside. And I think it was like about 40 pound for a lot of stuff. Other than that, there is so many exclusive Nintendo related items, gaming related items, just all the little nerdy things that you guys might love. As well as that, there's clothes and things like that, but I didn't I didn't look at that side of things. Anyway, <coughs> let's get back to the unboxing. The first thing I actually have um, is probably the least exciting thing, but I think it's really cool, and that is this Nintendo Switch case. So what we have here is, it's a type of, I think it's felt, and I just think it was the cutest thing ever again. <gasps> Look at it! I don't think it's gonna be the strongest thing and the most protective thing for your Nintendo Switch, but it's so damn cool. Let me put my Nintendo Switch in it, hold on. Switch versus case. Open the case and you put in the Switch. That's all there is to it, and just look. If that isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. Silicone Joy-Con controller. I actually don't have my Joy-Con. It's not a Joy-Con, is it? No. No, it's not, hon. It is a, what is this, Pro Controller. <laughs> this is a Pro Controller case, and this is great for anyone that wants to change the color of their Pro Controller, or if they want a better grip. And again, I think this was so cheap, it was something like three pounds. I'll link you below. But as you can see here, this is how it would be. 
like if this was a full juicy um, pro controller. Again, it's nice, it feels nice, the grip's gonna be amazing, so yes. The next thing I have to show you is this. It's an arcade stand for a Nintendo Switch. Let's just... Okay, here is what it's gonna look like and together we're going to put it together. By the looks of things, this is super simple. Then again, it is me putting it together so it may go wrong. So, surely I can't get this wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, it's really, really sim- Oh, it's magnetic. That's it. That's literally- Did you see that? I'm absolutely amazed. That is insane how easy that was to put together. Just stick those in there, and there you have it! Oh my god! One Joy-Con like this. Your Nintendo Switch just goes in the back. You can put it here and you can play like like so. I about you guys, but I find this just uncomfortable. I will probably use this stand in the future. I'll probably use it like this and have my pro controller like so. <sighs> you guys know that this video was about me. Ugh. Taking my Nintendo Switch out and traveling with it and seeing how much time I get to actually put into the gameplay. Um, a little update, so far I played hardly anything because on the way I didn't I didn't touch it. I touched it for 10 minutes, felt car sick, put it down and listened to music. Went for food, I was too busy being social rather than picking up my Nintendo Switch because I think it does come across rude. Um, to play your game in front of someone that doesn't enjoy the game too. And now we are at the hotel. Realistically, I'm probably gonna get about two hours um, gameplay out of this before we head to the show. Um, I'll update you to see if that actually happens because there's a bath there, there's a TV there, and there is so many things to protagonize with. Downstairs, there's a Starbucks, there's a bar, there's a lot of things going on. So let's actually see how much I actually travel with the Nintendo Switch, and if me taking this traveling is an absolute fail. Let's go! Look at all the mess that I made, uh. Look at all the mess that I made, uh. Look at all the mess, look at all the mess, look at all the mess that I made, uh. So how have we got a bath in here? Okay, guys, so I am ready to go back out. I'm literally in the same same clothes, same shoes, same everything. Normally I make more of an effort, but you know, I feel absolutely terrible. And it's hot and I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it today. As you guys probably want an update on how much I spend um, time on my Switch. I spend approximately, probably an hour. And then I had a nap because I'm knackered. So far it's been an hour and 10 minutes playtime. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go to the event. I haven't even told you what event we're going to. You'll see, you'll see. We're going to an event and then we're gonna come home and see if I go not come back to the hotel and see if we get any more playtime, which I don't know what's gonna happen. I might just conk out because I feel like poo. I feel like poo, okay. And I also smell like poo. One hour and 10 minutes and counting. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, there's Big Ben. Hi guys, the event has finished. It's now 12 o'clock. Um, to be quite honest with you, 
I feel absolutely knackered. I feel awful. Um, I've tried to be my happy self throughout the vlog, but like now I'm at a point where I'm just like, oh my god, I need my bed. So it's going to be 12 o'clock. Well, it's going to be like half 12, 1 o'clock once we go back to the hotel. I'm literally just going to get into bed and go to sleep. Anyway, the question is, should I bring my Nintendo Switch with me on my travels? I'm going to answer that in the future. Roll that clip, son. Roll that clip. I guess it is pretty evident that we have got to take the L and slap ourselves in the face with it. As it's pretty evident that traveling with the switch was a complete fail for me anyway however this was only due to certain factors we all know that this thing is absolutely amazing but this time it was a fail the first reason was I was attending a social event where I was traveling with pals who don't enjoy gaming first of all what am I even doing being friends with them if they're not into gaming Travelling to a social event with friends who don't enjoy gaming is pretty much a fail. If you want to sit and play on your Switch, they want to do other things and they can't really understand the fact that you're playing a game so please don't, don't talk to me, I'm playing my game. But travelling with friends who do enjoy gaming, once you got back to the hotel, you would have all been sitting together gaming, having a laugh and just talking about the games you're playing. The next factor is, I am very prone to car sickness, therefore, travelling with the Switch equals vomit. I was also recovering from an illness, so travelling with the Switch in general was a no-no because once the event finished, once I had any spare time, I just wanted to conk out and die rather than play on my Nintendo Switch. And the final thing is that I would have felt very ignorant if I was to pick up my Nintendo Switch, went out eating with someone who doesn't enjoy gaming. I would much rather play my game than participate in any sexual interaction. Okay, okay. We all know that the Nintendo Switch is the perfect gaming device to travel with. However, for me personally, I feel like my trip was an absolute fail. It would have worked so much better if I was traveling to an event alone. I would have probably got hours worth of gameplay out of this. It also heavily depends on who you're traveling with. That fly is really annoying. <sighs> so for me personally, traveling with non-gamers, I did not get much gameplay out of this at all. There was no conversation about it. There was no, oh, that Nintendo Switch is sexy. There was none of that. However, if I were to have friends who enjoyed gaming, we would have probably had those heavy, hardcore gaming sessions in the hotel. And I'm getting hot and sweaty even thinking about the stuff that was gonna go down in that hotel. Basically, it all depends on a few factors who you're traveling with, where you're traveling, and how you feel on the day. For me, personally, this was a fail. I'm gonna do it again with friends who enjoy gaming and see what happens. Well, first of all, I have to go and visit my friends that enjoy gaming because I have no friends that enjoy gaming here and it's quite a sad life. <sighs> the end. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you didn't like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Cyber hugs. Ooh. A lovely. Hi. Patreon. I feel like I could actually actually cry about it. I just, I just having a bad day. And I am, um, I'm, I'm just not happy with what with what. I've literally come on here to moan to you guys. I've, I use this as an outlet to vent. I am, um, I'm, I'm just not happy with what with what I'm doing right now. And I want to produce the best content. I've been watching a lot of this is so cliche. I've been watching the TV behind it. These parents aren't even phased. Look! Look at that face! Looks like some type of dying turtle. The Wii U. Give me that. Look, Johnny feels like a player. He's going to be like, oh, Johnny, I want to play with your big black switch. And he doesn't have the time for girls. He knows he's pimping. He